Love and Light Collective, thank you for taking the time out to click on Kiera's Love Tarot. I truly appreciate each and every last one of you beautiful viewers for tuning into my channel. Please make sure you hit that like button. All right, comment below if anything resonates. Subscribe if you're new here. And let's go ahead and tap straight in with the energies, okay? And y'all, please ignore my spooky share. I need to get me a new one, okay? So let's go ahead and tap in. I'll be using my situations love oracle deck okay this is a love reading okay so whatever comes out um it's going to be pertaining to love also i mean i may grab other messages that don't pertain to love as well but this is a love reading okay so if you're not looking for a love reading um maybe my next video will resonate more with you but this is going to be a love reading something pertaining to love so, Spirit, what do you have for us? What do you want me to talk about in this video? What do you want me to address, converse with the collective or with the person watching this video? What do they need to know out of these decks that I'm going to pull cards from about their person? This video is requiring, I mean, inquiring a person that you're thinking about, that you decided to hop on YouTube and search or surf for um, information on through tarot, okay? What's going on, viewer? What, what we need to talk about with you, viewer? Abundance, okay? Positive mindset, manifest, gratitude, and bliss, blessings, okay? So, first of all, I'm, hit, I'm picking up a sense of setting yourself free. All right, breaking free. Somebody's name could be start with a B. Um, Bianca, Brittany, um, Bethany, Brandy, um, here Billy too, Barbara, Bianca, something with a B. Okay, somebody's name is a B, starts with a B. Or somebody has a child who names start with a B. Somebody's trying to better themselves for their child. Um, or somebody's, I'm also picking up, I hate to bring this up, but I'm picking up a child passed away or somebody passed away with the name that started with a B. Okay, I'm not saying somebody's going to. This could just be for someone who had a loved one pass away whose name started with a B. I'm also seeing an M as well, lowercase m, popping up. But... Somebody is freeing themselves from, or I see somebody's um, blessings being unblocked. Somebody has had a lot of their blessings <clears throat> blocked due to having a negative mindset, not manifesting properly, or um, not showing gratitude in general, okay, which has blocked blessings. But this is turning around. For you viewer, okay, that's the first message Spirit wanted you to know. This is turning around for you. Um, a lot of coins, a lot of opportunities. And from the most part, somebody's mind has been sick and infested with negative thoughts. Or you just had this negative block around you for so long to where you can't see the good in things. You can't see um, things working out for you. Um particularly a relationship probably has brought on this way of thinking it's because you're like you've been trained to think negative about things or feel negative about things because of how a person has trained you to feel due to the games and the up and downs a relationship has brought or just in general you know the environment you're around you may be around negative people or people that are downers i'm also picking up somebody could be taking downers um, like a drug that's a downer that brings you down um, or you're just simply not supported by a lot of people that want to see you lifted up or that want to lift you up but I see you coming out of this viewer um, keep a positive mindset or if you have not started exercising thinking positive you're something's gonna come about to where you have no choice but to change the way you think, okay? Positive thinking is gonna be the only way you can get through something in the upcoming weeks, months, days. 
years, you're not gonna have a choice but to think positive um, about something. Give me more spirit. Detachment, cold, to clarify this abundance card. There's a man on this card, could be a water sign, um, could have blonde hair or just could have a good texture of hair if they're not of Caucasian descent. Okay, I'm seeing a Caucasian man, but this could be a light-skinned man as well or a man, it could be any type of man. But this person could have the same uh, favorite color, blue, or y'all both share the same color, uh, blue as a favorite color. Um, but this is somebody that could have a beard or chin hair, likes to wear sweaters, um, seeing a polo sign. Somebody could be dating somebody who has like a polo sweater, a black or navy blue colored one. Um, but this could definitely be a water sign that you're trying to detach yourself from, okay? Or I feel like this came out to tell you to detach yourself from a man that is cold to you in order to re re uh, receive this abundance. Or you could be dealing with a person because they bring abundance to your life, but they're very cold hearted to you. Or in the in the beginning, you met somebody that comes off as very cold hearted or was very cold hearted in the beginning and it's starting to change their mindset towards you due to the way you're manifesting. So somebody could be manifesting a cold hearted man to change and to stop being so detached from you. Okay. Look, we got past, lack, and suffering. There's a woman um, lacking love, stuck in the past, suffering, because somebody is being real cold-hearted to them. Yeah. This male, somebody's dealing with a male that is really, really cold-hearted um, or being really cold-hearted to a female, detaching themselves currently, which is going to force you or is forcing you to focus on your money, your mindset, your uh, manifest, heal. We got unexpected storms. So it could be um, storming where somebody is or somebody's going through tornadoes or somebody feel like this person has brought a tornado in their life or this person is the tornado in your life, is the storm in your life. Um, but get ready, viewer, because you're about to have an unexpected detachment. Something's about to flip. Someone's going to flip the script on um, a situation. Somebody you got chemistry with, viewer. Okay. We got the apology card popping out. Give me one second because we finna see what's all this popping up. Soulmate and signs and clues. Although this is your soulmate, viewer, this isn't the this isn't the soulmate you're supposed to be with. Okay, we have a bunch of different soulmates in our lifetimes. We got let go of the past, yeah. Let go of the past, lack, suffering, apology, chemistry, storm, soulmate, signs and clues, and abundance. So We got, I need time for me. I want to get you drunk. <laughs> Popping out. It's hurting the hell out of you, viewer, to detach yourself from somebody who you lack trust with, who lacks emotion towards you, who lacks feelings towards you. Um, the chemistry may be fade, fading between somebody or chemistry is the only thing you guys have at this point. 
Somebody can't let go of the past. It says clear the energy to allow love into your life. Okay. So yeah, viewer, the energy is really strong today on someone needing to stop dealing with somebody that they're really passionate and have chemistry with. Okay. Yes, this is a soulmate. But not every soulmate is meant to be in your life forever or meant to stay for a long time or a long period of time. I feel like this person has been um, so ruthless and has done so much to you, could have a drinking problem, or um, they use getting you drunk to get back into your life, back into your pants, back into your presence. You guys may both have had a drinking problem together or you guys drink a lot together. Um, with the I want to get you drunk because I feel like somebody um, somebody about to walk away from a, a chaotic situation or you have walked away from a chaotic situation and yeah this could be somebody that has a tattoo on their neck uh, it could be Roman numerals a man preferably or a woman you left this person I'm picking up on, or you're about to leave them, or you're trying your hardest to be done, but the chemistry is so strong, but you can't let go of the past, which causes arguments and um, toxicity. Um, look, we got moving, change of residence. My card is already greasy. Change of residence. You moving out. Somebody's done with their partner. Change of residence. Challenges. Make a decision. To work on your inner healing. The same cards I got in my last reading. One more card. Sexuality. Narcissist. Spy. Let go. Hmm. So we got let go popping out. Make room for the new beginning. It's on its way to you now, viewer. Yeah. I feel like if you can't wake up and let go, God is about to wake you up yourself. I mean, they self, okay? Because you got some importance in this world. You, or you got something you got to do. You've been delaying too much time on this situation with this person that just doesn't want to um, commit to you. They're really cold-hearted and detached from you, yet they don't want to let you go because they have a chemistry and passion. They like fucking you. They like um, sucking you and touching you and being all over you. They like sexual um, encounters with you, but they don't want to do anything serious like move in with you. Um, they don't want to help you heal from the things they've put you through. They give you sorry apologies, beg for your forgiveness, and then they go back to being cold-hearted with you, possibly, you know, indulging in liquor with you to make you forget about things because they're a narcissist. Okay, someone is full of themselves. They too into they self to give you the love that you're looking for. And also, I feel like a lot of you guys that are watching this that are resonating with this. Um, you're in love with the person this person used to be with, yet you're not paying attention to the signs and clues about how this person is currently feeling about you in the present. Okay, the universe is talking to you, viewer, which is what this card says at the bottom of the deck. The universe is talking to you. Okay, they want you to hear them. They want you to see this person is not for you. They bring storms to your life. They're always bringing shit to you unexpectedly, throwing shit on you. They may have chemistry with somebody else as well, passion with other people, okay? And they're making it hard for you to heal yourself. That's the point. They want you to feel like you're not um, worthy of anything. So you'll stick around and tolerate this shit, okay? And it's due to sex. We got sexuality. Someone is still figuring themselves out. So this could be a person who is bisexual and you don't know it. This is why they can't keep um, a woman or a man. They can't treat a woman or a man right because they are... Okay, I feel like this person could be a person that has multiple energies inquiring them in love with them, have feelings for them. It might not just be you or every person, every good energy they get, they blow it. They blow it completely. They be a narcissist to them because deep down inside, or this is why they're so cold to women, because um, deep down inside, they may want the other sex. They may want a man if they're a man. They may want a woman if they're, if they're a woman. Someone's dealing with somebody that's bisexual. Hey, this person is bisexual. 
they feel that they have more chemistry with the opposite sex, but they can't be open with that. Okay, you got spy. Someone's got their eye on you. You are doing your research. So this could be you um, accidentally finding out your person is bisexual by lurking on them, getting in their business, going through their phone, figuring out their passwords, getting in their messages. This also could represent your person not wanting you, but not wanting to do right by you or not wanting anybody else to have you, viewer. Okay, they don't want nobody else to have you. So they're going to issue out apologies that are fake. They don't really mean it. And they also don't want to see you be successful. Because whatever you put your hands on, viewer, you make magic. Whether that be music, money, your creative, whatever it is. When you're not, and this person sees that, when they see you're not focused on them, that's when you're at your best. And they always come along to break you down from getting this abundance. But like this card says, please pay attention to the signs and cues. I mean, and clues because the universe is trying to talk to you. They want to give you something. But your, your focus is all being invested in this person that is cold-hearted to you and that you have chemistry with. Just because you got chemistry with somebody and you're passionate about somebody don't mean you're supposed to put up with the tortures of them you don't have to deal with you don't got to be there for their lowest because one thing about this person you're dealing with you call yourself trying to be there for this person's lowest or be there for them at their lowest when they get to their highest they're going to leave you where they stay where you stand because they are about self they're too into themselves so yeah you call yourself sticking around for the hard part but when it gets easy for them when they money get rolling in they spending it on another person they sharing with another person. They're embracing another person. Okay, they're not rewarding you for being there for them when it was ugly. All right, so that's what I got for you guys so far. I will be back with some more. Just a little quick little message. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe if that resonated with you. Comment below. Thank you.